Okay, here I am today. Got my changing out seats, getting rid of the stock seat. As you can tell, it's off the bike. And I bought this wiring kit that actually goes for the heated, the new heated Mustang seat that I bought. And I've got to get rid of these, take these, I already broke these half inch bolts loose that actually holds your ECM. So we'll take them down, take them out. Okay, got them out. Next, and I went ahead and took the 50 amp fuse right there out of the bike. You can see right, right there where it plugs in take that out just to protect in case we have any issues with the wiring uh, this is for my heated jacket and this other one's for my wife's heated jacket down in here that we use in the winter time because we do ride so let me get this ECM unit off of here and I'll be right back okay we've got the ECM cover or ECM and the battery cover out. Now what I need to do, if I can get you guys in here to see what I'm doing. Let me get in over here on this positive side of the battery. I know we took the 50 amp plug out, but we need to take all this out too just to double protect ourselves. And don't lose your screws. Okay. I have one, two, three, four. Because one of those, well, that big one right there is, you can see me pointing to it with the screwdriver. That hole right there, that that's just your positive battery hookup. Another one's for the the battery tender. And another one's for my wife's heated vest. And the other one's for my heated vest. So now we've got them all undone. Make sure we move them out of the way so they won't do any arcing and sparking. And I think we're good there. And we'll move on to the next step. I'll show you all that here in just a little bit. Okay, next step we have is to find which dead plug we're looking to. And this one's hooked up, so that's not the one we want. This one is hooked up. This one here is just sitting here, so this is the one we're going to want. Pull that out of there, and that's what it looks like. There's three wires, or it's a three-hole for three wires but on the back side of this if you look we have a purple wire and a black wire and a white plug and I've got to get that white plug pulled out so we can be able to wire this wiring harness up and once I get that there pulled out I'll get her hooked up and we'll show you where we're at so be back in just a bit okay We've got, the next step is to do is to get a small screwdriver and there's a slot right here. We have to take this, this white plug out. So we'll just kind of pry it forward and she pops right out of there. A little bit more. Okay, she should pop out of there. There she is. Now you can see down in there. That's what I just took out. You can see the slot for the for the two wires, and you can see that little plastic piece in there. That's just a dead piece. We got to turn around to this back side, 
and get that little piece of plastic right there pulled out so we can stick another wire in there to make this for a three port wire harness and I'll get that done and we'll be right back okay now what we're gonna do is you can see that that little white plug back there on the left side which is right there on the back side and what we're gonna do is take a little screwdriver I'm gonna push on it from this side right here and push it out this way then I can install my red wire in here anchor it down in there it'll just clip right in there and then after I do that then we take this piece and we slide it right back in there the way it, the way it came out that way you got to make sure you keep your wiring in order which if you look this plug has a, a hump on top and this little white piece that come out of there it's got that little slot on there so it's easy to remember that this little slot right right there goes right up top with the top of this this piece right here and you can't get it wrong then so let me get that pushed out i just got to reach in there with a screwdriver and push that out and i'll get back with you okay now you can see i pushed that toward the back and there it is sticking out it's just a dead plug so we'll try to pull that out of there there it is and then i gotta get ready to i'll get my wiring harness ready and try to get to show you guys how i wire this thing up and get it all hooked up ready for the new heated seat be back in a few okay now we're ready to take this piece here this is why we pulled this dead plug out of the back of this right here we need to install this piece here goes to the positive side of the battery it's got a 10 amp fuse in here we leave it in and when you line this when you put this in here with these other two just look at it real good because you're going to want to line it up exactly the same way those two in there looked. And then you'll just take and you will push it in till it should snap. There it is. And then just kind of wiggle on it, play it back and forth. Make sure everything's still good and tight. And everything is in there, so... Okay, now we want to take and put this piece back in here. It's a little bit, you got to remember, keep, this was the top side of that plug. And there's our little, our little notch right there that goes to the top. It probably take a little bit to get that to work in there, right? But it's got to go back in there. And it should have a, you hear a snap when you push it in. Let's see. You may have a little bit of troubles with it. Got to get it lined up just right. Okay, let's see. There. I don't know if you heard that snap or not, but it popped in there. And then check the back make sure them are all still in there good and they are okay and then the next step is to take this one I don't know if you can see those down in there or not those three little prongs and just make sure that it can only plug in one way but make sure that your purple and your black and your red back here are lined up the same so this is going to go in here just like this okay heard it click 
Okay, so now I'm ready to go. Got that hooked up. I just got to run this in through the frame over here. All, actually all of this right here would run into the frame underneath in front of the battery and this hooks to the positive side. And this here gives you, this will be for the seat, the heated seat part. And this here is for other accessories that you might want to add later on and they're heat shrinked off. So it's kind of nice to have that if you ever decide you want to add any more electrical. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off until I get this hooked up to the battery, the positive side. And I'll run the rest of these wires to the front. We'll get her locked down and get her buttoned up. And like I said, this here is the one that's going to plug into the heated seat. The rest of these are just going to, these two are just going to lay underneath in front of the battery and you want to make sure that this is in front of the battery because it's got that 10 amp fuse in it and if you ever need to get to it you don't want to have to take your side covers and everything else apart just to get to it it's easier just to go ahead and fish all this stuff in here right in there like that hook it up and this stuff will just lay in there and you'll have access to this 10 amp fuse if it ever pops or blows on you so I'll get this all all hooked up and that should be the end of this you guys that's pretty much it it's not that hard as a matter of just hooking this this hot wire up shoving this stuff under there and then hooking all my wiring back up or my heated seats the battery tender all that good stuff so it's pretty simple to do if you ever do it you got any questions just feel free to ask thanks for watching Okay guys, got her installed. Seat looks pretty good. I'm gonna, with this design of the Mustang seat, I'm gonna probably end up changing this backrest for my wife, cause they make that same pattern as this stuff right here. Just to make it all look a little more custom, but as you can see, it fits really good. Took me about 40 minutes to get everything done that needed to be done to get her installed. And we'll walk around here. As you can see, it looks pretty cotton picking good on there. And. There's the high button for the driver, off, and the low setting for the driver. And the passenger has a high setting and a low setting as well. We've had heated seats in the past, and these, I'll tell you what, if you do riding in the winter like we do, they're worth having. I suggest go out and get you one if you got the, got the means to do so. I appreciate you all watching the video, and I hope you learned a little bit of something. Hope I hope I helped somebody out. Alrighty, I uh, just got my backrest in today, and it matches everything to a T like it's supposed to. Oh, I thought I'd just share that. It's pretty simple. It just slides right in. And Slides right out, but my wife's gonna like it because of that. It folds all the way, all the way down out of her way when she gets on. So, pretty nice setup it is, but it was worth it. Big shout out to Mustang Seats, and a great big shout out to Dennis Kirk. That's where I got all this stuff, except for the driver's backrest. I had to order it in a different place because they didn't have it. With the Mustang heated seat and the Mustang backrest, passenger backrest, all come from Dennis Kirk. And if you want fast shipping, if they ship fast. I got all this in two days. All right. Hope you all enjoyed and learned something. Later.